Hey, how's it going? This is the tool I made to install the Vortec factory valve seals. Valve seals. Some you can just press on, others you need a tool to drive them on. Now, in this video I'm going to make my own tool, but you can buy tools to install seals. Of course, there are several different size seals. And some tools are kind of hard to tell which seal they work with. So, this is what I'm going to do. Here are some seal examples. These are the kind you drive on. Those are the idea of the guy they fit. Here's some you just press on. And an umbrella seal. Before I forget, I want to mention that sometimes the seals come with um, these little sleeves and they just slide over the tip of the valve so that way you don't cut the inside lip on the valve lock groove. Sometimes those are sharp. It's always a good idea to use those. Over here is an example of a tool you can buy. This tool is for Teflon seals, which I don't have any to show you, so I'm just going to add a picture right here. Here's what I'm going to use to make my own tool. Some half inch OD rod. Half inch OD and 3 8 ID Delrin tube. And some 1 inch OD 250 thousandths wall steel tube. I got a four inch section because I think it'll work good for driving it on that way. We'll see. Now the idea is, of course, to get some tube that fits just over your seal. And my seal is just about half inch at the little spring looking thing. So it just fits in this nice and snug. Of course, some use sockets, if you can find your sockets, and if they're clean. Mine are never really that clean. But the right socket will also work fine as well. So, let's head out to the workshop and get started. Now, in case you haven't figured out how I'm going to make this tool, let me show you what I've done so far. I've hacked off about a three inch section of the Durlin tube. Just use my little handsaw and a razor knife to clean up the ends. I've chamfered the ends of the steel tube because it's pretty much already the dimensions I need. And I cut off a bit of the steel rod, but it's actually a little too short. And I'll get to that in a second. Let me show you this first. These are the dimensions of the parts I have. These two need to fit into this one. And as you can see, they're a little big for that. Now to make those work, I'm going to turn them down on my drill. A piece of sandpaper, kind of like a lathe. And that piece was too short. It didn't have enough stick out, so I'll have to turn it down and then cut it the final size. And when I get it turned down, I'm going to slide it in here and use it as a cap and weld it on there. I'm also going to turn down the Durlin rod in my drill, most of the length, except for like the end. I'll use that, I'll let that have a little bit of a press fit so it doesn't slide out. Basically, it's going to be uses a protective sleeve for the valve and drilling is the stuff they make out of they use to make high performance bushings and stuff so it's nice and hard and slick of course before I weld the end in there I'm going to use it to dry the drilling in there just a little bit farther since the valve seal has a little bit of stick out that's going to be actually inside the tube This end I'm going to weld because it's rougher 
The other end is a little better shape, so I'm going to surface it some over here. My mirror, you know, just various grits get smooth as I, you know, as I want. Doesn't mean you have to be, but I want it a little cleaner. Oh, and by the way, I use this clutch angle grinder adapter to cut down the rod. It's nice for little jobs. You're supposed to use a 5 inch grinder, but this is just a 4 inch, just so you know. As long as you're using a new cutoff wheel, it kind of works. And it beats digging out my full size chop saw to make a lot of noise in the middle of the night. It's got a nice cast iron base, so it's nice. I'll, I'll include the link in the description. It's, it's cool. So, let me finish this sucker up and we'll try it out. All welded up. Not as clean as I'd like. A few boogers out the knock off. But otherwise, she's good. Still hotter, I'd show you, but I think the Durlin's good. Didn't ooze out. I was actually thinking after I pressed it in, I'm like, oh, probably should have made another pin tool to drive it in for after I weld it, but I think we're good. I didn't see any smoke or nothing. Yep. Basically, why I want to have it stick out so much is I don't want to grab it because it's freaking hot. Is that, that way I don't hit my hand. And I think having a narrower tip is better for driving on straight with the hammer. That you know, if you have a wider, you know, the wider one inch tip, there's more chance of hitting it on the edge. So we'll let the sucker cool off and see how she works. Here she is all cleaned up. I think it came out decent. Now, some might say paint it, but any of that paint rubs off when I'm hammering on it or holding it, it's going to end up in my engine. So, I just give it a little bit of oil, maybe throw it in a Ziploc bag and be fine. Here's the other end. I think it came out nice. Let me see if this will work. It's hard to see if you can see in there, but there we go. Durlin's intact. Delrin. I keep calling it the wrong stuff. Delrin. You know what I mean. It's late. <laughs> so, let's try this sucker out. But first, I want to try this tip out. I'm going to use this three-quarter wide tape instead of those little caps. Everyone's got tape. Okay. Tape's on there. Got a valve seal. Put a dab of oil on there. Come on. Whop right here. Just gonna work that around my pinky. And we got oil. And by the way, I am going to be wasting the seal because I don't need it. I have extras. I plan to do this after. Oh, the tape works. I'm talking and the tape works. I plan to do this after I got the head done, but I got held up on another video, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So, once again, got that Delrin in there to protect the valve stem and help guide it a little. A little looser than I'd like. I'd like a little better fit. But it looks like it's going to work good. Let's try it out. I feel solid. Yep, I think that's going to work good. Give you a close-up of it real quick. Like I said, I plan to try this later, but I don't really want to waste more than one seal. I'll find out soon enough when I do 16. But I think it works good. So, 
So, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Peace out.